Hi guys, join me as I make beef goulash. Beef goulash is an Hungarian recipe and it's just a way to make stew that is different from a regular stew and this recipe tastes so flavorful. But before we start, if this is your first time here, thanks for tuning in. Please don't forget to subscribe and click on all notifications to get notified whenever I post a new video. And for our returning subscriber, thanks a lot. We love you all. So for this recipe, I'll be using some fresh tomato, vegetable oil, some unsalted butter, white onions, tomato paste, sweet red wine, paprika, Irish potato, seasoning cube, garlic, scotch bonnet pepper, beef, and also I'll be using carrots and sugar. I'll go in with some butter, vegetable oil, then I'll go in with my beef. But note, when you go to go and buy this beef in the market, please ensure to ask them to give you beef, the soft beef, not the hard beef, hard one, because you want to use the soft one. Then you are going to fry this until it's turned brown. This way, you can see that the oil have soaked out the color of the beef. Then I'll go in with my onions. I'm using white onions, but do well to use the any onions of your choice. And I'll go in with garlic. I'll add in my scotch bonnet pepper. But the Hungarian people, they don't use scotch bonnet pepper. But because I want it to be hot, I added scotch bonnet pepper. It's your choice. The Hungarian people, they normally use paprika. I, I'm also going to add some paprika here. I will stir this and allow this to fry a while then after this i'll go in with my tomato paste then i'll stir this together and allow this to fry for a while i'll go in with my fresh tomatoes i know some people will be like why did i cut it this shape you know this for this particular dish you have to be cooking it for a very for a long time and before it get done the tomato will have already dissolved dissolved so there's no really need to cut it into smaller shape then i'll go in with my salt to taste then i'll stir this and allow this to fry for a while then i'll go in with my sweet red wine please it has to be sweet red wine not white wine no it has to be sweet red wine and it must be sweet then i'll go in with my sugar i normally advise i use we use one teaspoon of sugar the reason for this sugar is to balance the taste of the sweet red wine in order to make everything look taste so normalized and okay then i'll go in with some seasoning cube i'm using three seasoning cube here in this recipe i added some water then i'll cover this and allow this to cook for 15 minutes on a medium heat so after 15 minutes I will stir this a little so then i will go in with my chopped irish potatoes please it has to be irish potatoes not sweet potatoes irish then i'll go in with my carrots ensure that you cut your carrots into bigger shape then i'll go in with the other half of my butter my unsalted butter please don't use butter that they use for baking for this recipe use the the unsalted butter the one that have already been processed and put in cube use it then i'll stir everything and i'll allow this to cook until the irish gets done or soft so here our irish is already done so our beef goulash is ready then i'll just spice it up and just spice it up with with dry parsley leaf you can use fresh parsley leaf if you have but this is what i have i just use dry parsley leaf to just freshen it up and this is our beef goulash by this time my kitchen is already smelling bonkers and <laughs> and nice so i serve this with some pasta so see you all soon in my next video and if you enjoy this recipe and you want to recreate yours please do well to send me a version of yours in our social media handle evening foods thanks and see you soon bye